Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Bandy Badscast. Plus, we're a trade to In the previous episode, we got yet another win on our Eden streak. Things are going well. We're on a five streak. We've been having okay starts, um, but we've just been getting blessed with things like the nail and stuff. Okay, so here, stats are insane. Insanely good. Trinket is... Uh, chests have a high chance of being angel chests. Sounds good. Um, and yeah, we do not know what our health is. Normally, when you have stats this good... Your health's pretty bad. So let's just assume that that's the case, shall we? Let's just assume that that's the case. And hope we can get something going on. Let's... let's re oh my god! We have the D-Infinity. I was like, ah, dear D10. Not that good. We have the D-Infinity. People, we have the D-Infinity. This is spicy. Also, Tractor Beam? Tractor Beam's decent. I can get behind Tractor Beam. Okay, that is not an angel chest right there. You've lied to me, game. Yeah, we just got to basically try not to get hit for the, this first floor. Just so we don't end up dying in a single hit. Because we might have one soul heart or something. Although, I think the lowest you can start with is two soul hearts or one red heart. Oh, God. I have created far, far more danger than the room initially actually had. That was not good. This room is very dangerous. But it gave us money. We also got hit without dying, so we might be one hit away from death. I don't I do not know. You stay away from me, you hussy. No red hearts. We've got no red hearts. Okay, so I'm fairly sure we're at one and a half or one spirit heart right now. Whenever you have a good start, stats, sorry, you always start with low HP. That's just a general rule of thumb. I don't know if that's like a, an actual thing, but it always feels like it is. And our stats are incredible. Okay, the poop, definitely going to reroll that bad boy. God's flesh, I'm also going to reroll that bad boy. Yes, piercing is really good. And we go in here and see if we can buy HP. We cannot currently. I, I reckon we spend a bomb and we try and buy HP. That's very good, though. I will take that. Okay. Bit scary. A little bit scary. Considering how good this run is, I'm very scared. Like, this, this this could go so well. We've even got a Yero rune here as well, which is insane. Oh, no. Okay, this is pretty bad. Pretty bad. This is a boss that can definitely do some damage. Luckily, Tractor Beam actually makes this boss a little easier. For God's sake. Every time I get hit, I'm very, very scared right now. Actually, it didn't, I don't know. Does Tractor Beam make this boss easier? Because you have to stay directly below him. Okay, we got we got health. We are now in a good spot no matter what our health's at. Let's see what we were riding at. Okay, we had a bunch of red hearts, apparently. We st I think we started with two red hearts and one soul heart by the looks of things, which is actually fine. That's really good HP. But it looked a lot more dangerous. But, again though, this is a fantastic start. Piercing with Tractor Beam is insanely good. That is a that is a combo I can get behind. Also, we D, D1, uh, D100, well, D-Infinity, should I say. Probably going to end up re-rolling our run at some point. But, I'm going to actually try to avoid it for as long as possible. I'm hoping we can get a few more D6s out of this before that happens. But there is two items, the D100 and the D4, that can reroll our runs, so... There's a likely chance that we'll end up seeing that pretty soon. But this, yeah, this, this tractor beam piercing business with our stats... I can't not love it. I might even use this... If, if, that, if that tinted rock there, if we manage to open that, and it gives us a double spirit heart, I will Yero it. I know that Yero is something you want to save for later... But I actually think that that's a really good use of it right now. Only if it gives us a double, though. Because it's a single, it's not worth it. Right, 
Get in the corner. God damn, the speed at which we're killing things right now is great. Have we been to our item room this floor? We haven't, have we? There it is. There it is. Just, it's wrecking everything. On these early floors with these weak enemies, it's, it's doing great. Sad bombs? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we need a bomb first to even get to that safely. Without losing our deal with the devil, so... We've got to hold off on that a little bit so far. But, sad bombs is one that can be great. Got you. Give us a bomb. Yes. Okay, so the question is, do we go... I think we, I think we re-roll this and try and get something a little better. Not good. Not good. So, I know that Sad Bombs is good and I should have taken it, but I'm playing, I'm playing for, for the best we can possibly get here. We bomb this. We get a single Soul Heart, so we're just going to pick it up. No double. No double trouble. Well, maybe, possibly, because we got a, we've we've I technically got a one use dice at the minute, a one room charge dice, which is insane. Um, so we might end up getting another D six. I reckon we're gonna get the D infinity, uh, the D one hundred pretty soon though. And we could have got that too. That's another thing that we don't want. That uh, that reroll that stats. I, th I think we kind of need to reti retire this active item now. In fact, I might go and pick up the uh, the beans box thing that we that we got there. I would like another bomb though to do it safely, but. We might not get that privilege. Ooh, Pin. You are so fucked. I'm sorry, Pin. Didn't have to be this way. You made up for too many segments, though. Steven again. Ooh, the lovely little terrible mask. I'm not going to take anything here. Nothing's worth it. Yeah, Pumpkin Mask is probably one of the worst items in the game, I think. it's It's got very, very little reason to be used. We are going to have to t uh, take damage to grab this, but I'm going to do it. The D-Infinity, it's just too tantalizing. And I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to jeopardize what we've currently got. Wait. Damn. And this is a one use as well. One room usage, which is great. Um, this, this actually could be very good. Like the different bean items, there's a few that are really good. Like Mega Bean is pretty good. Okay, so Darkness here, not too big of a problem. Oh, hello. That was close. Yeah, Mega Bean. Mega Bean's pretty good. So if we get that. Fuck off. I'm not re-rolling my run. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Why you gotta be like this game? Why you gotta be like this? God damn it. Oh, that was a, a rather big toot right there. A rather big toot. And yes, I forgot. Very easy to break rocks here because uh, wait, what is technically a bean item. So very, very good. Some rooms we just don't need to use it. Like, I cannot believe I got hit there. That was such a dumb hit to take as well. We definitely need some, some health generation, but knowing my luck, the game will take care of that for us pretty soon. This is bad. That was just awful. Awful play by me there. No way. I need to stop being such a massive flaming idiot. I'm actually going to do this. God damn, that was such dumb damage to take. Liberty cap there is probably better than what we've currently got going on. Just go for this, why not? We've seen our, uh, we've, we've seen everything we need to see, actually. Shop, active, uh, uh, shop, item room, and boss now, so. I think we're good. Can you stop? This, I don't know when they updated this dude. It must be a champion variant of him or something, but this guy does not leave it alone with the summoning of, of, of these worms. It's just constant. It never stops. Luckily, them ones are really weak. But, like, it's always them guys that are a lot harder to dodge than the regular worms. Also, you gonna telefrag me, or... Nope. Okay. Good, good. 
just pop up for like two seconds, mate. So I can, I, I, of course, he's going to telefrag me. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? This version of this boss sucks so hard. Here for two red hearts at the end of each floor. I'm going to take that. Let's go. This is bad for health. We are in a, a, a pinch for HP here. We've taken some dumb damage. Real, Really? This room has to, like, fucking god damn it. Has to take the cake for one of the worst designed rooms in... Yeah, look at that. Thanks. Guaranteed damage. Love it. Love it when you literally cannot avoid getting hit. <laughs> And losing your deal with the devil chance. I'm so upset. God damn it. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. That didn't give us a soul heart, sadly. This is risky. We were on very low, low health here. It's not good. What? Why does this room feel so sped up? What the hell? Why can't I play this game anymore? Why am I so bad now? <laughs> I've become complacent, apparently. Oh, of course I've become complacent. Because I just fucking used the bean right next to a mushroom. That's the, like, rule one of this floor. No way. Okay, we are, we are going to die this run. I, I don't know what it is, but I am not playing well at all. It's just things are not going my way. We have such a good run here as well. But if we don't get HP soon... It's all coming to an end. Okay. Good. That was a tricky room, so I'm glad we got through that. Could you just give me, like, some HP, please, game? Like, red hearts or anything, please. You can go, and it, go away and all. This guy's a champion, so he's got to go first. My god, the stress is piling. Red Heart? Yes, Red Heart. Okay, we're at least in the running for not dying immediately now, which is nice. <laughs> Definitely should have yared that one Soul Heart, shouldn't I? That's become clear to me now. I'm actually going to buy a card against humanity here and go and pop it in this room. I'm just going to get my Yara card. Just just because if we get like a few soul hearts from these, we could get a petrified poop early and get a few soul hearts. Then we can Yara. In a big room like this. Takes a while to pop through them all. We should get a full health from this. At least. I should get some red hearts. Just got to hope we get petrified poop early. We might not get it at all. Sometimes you don't, but... That's her. I think it's like a it's like a two percent chance to get petrified poop, something like that. That's what it feels like. Come on, a few pennies here and there. No red hearts yet. There's another penny. We've made our money back already, pretty much. There's the hearts coming in. Just keep going on that train. Then go this way, down here. <laughs> this is a bit of a slow way of playing, but you've got to do what you got to do when you're having a when you're having a bad run. It's, this isn't even a bad run. This is me just playing bad. I'm just trying to take advantage of anything I can to rectify my mistakes. And that involves shooting an entire room full of turd. That's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. Come on. Where's Petrified Poop already? Uh, we got half a soul heart there. Probably should have left that on the floor, but hey her. Come on. There's full red heart. We're not going to get it. Either that or we're going to get it on like the very last row. There's some more pennies. But yeah, definitely more than paid for itself now. More than double, actually. That's good. But this is, this is some sort of uh, terrible, terrible min-maxing that we're doing now. But when you're already in Eden Streak and you're trying to win, these are the plays that you've got to make. You've got to sacrifice. If I can get one soul heart out of this, I will be happy. We've already got half a soul heart. 
So we're halfway there. It does look like petrified poop is not showing up in a timely manner though here. We have destroyed hundreds of poops and still nothing. There's another half. There it is. Finally. About just over halfway through the room. We finally get it. Now we just got to hope we get like some full soul heart drops, which aren't super uncommon, but they also aren't common. But yeah, petrified poop here. Gonna help us out with getting that, but we still might not get it. At least there's a lot of pennies. I might even yarrow all the pennies. That that could be a good idea in here. There's a soul heart. Okay, we're definitely gonna yarrow this room. There's, there's enough. Yep. There's enough in this room to make yarrowing well worth it now. There's, yep, there you go. Okay, this has become a very, very um, profitable venture. There's three soul hearts and a bunch of money. This was very worthwhile. Yera. Boom. This is how you min-max, people. This is how you min-max. We just got full health and full money from one card. Well, technically one card and a rune. Still. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed. Right, check what's in here. Potato peeler. Um, I could go full on potato peeler. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'm pretty happy with what we what we got going on here. But there you go. Uh, that was that was some some strong min maxing there, that that definitely definitely worked out. Card um card against humanity is one of the better cards that you can find as long as you get petrified poop early enough. It's insanely strong because you get you normally get a ton of money. There's chances for dimes, chances for nickels, chances for soul hearts. Great. It's absolutely great. I'm surprised there isn't like a small chance for you to get the poop item. I would have thought that was something that Edmund would have done. But obviously not. Also, yeah, this 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 bean item is actually really good. I'm really liking it. Obviously, it's random which beans you get, so it's not always going to be great. But it's working out. But as you can see, a lot of the time it's both poisoning and um, and freezing a lot of the enemies. Makes for quick work. See how much damage that was right off the bat? Because this is this is spawner. Spawner Gerdy. Spawner Gerdy's really easy. Basically just keep doing this. Kill everything that he spawns. Very easily. And take him out. I wonder if he's gonna rework any of the champions in breath. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Hey, Lemonhead's pretty good. And there's our full health. Looking good. Looking very good. Back from the brink. Back from the brink and all it took was some turds. Who'd have ever have thought it? Of course. Of course. Can we just... Oh, uh, ferrum. Is there a pheromones bean? I didn't even know that. Another soul heart there. Grab these pennies. But yeah, we, we, we definitely want to get getting into our shop. Shops have been a real big source of... of like stuff for us in terms of these wins the shop has been hugely hugely um beneficial from getting like car battery and that actually car battery with this bean item might be amazing car battery is one of my favorite items in the entire game because it just synergizes so well with basically every active item there's a few that it doesn't do anything but a lot of them it's a massive effect and i absolutely love it it turns it turns items that are great into overpowered ones and items that are meh into good ones uh, we literally, I, I, I cannot be asked for go, going for that item. I don't, I don't want to. I'm loving how our face looks right now. We look like a spider lemon wearing a bane mask. Strange sentence, I know. Why am I picking up the pennies? I've got 99. Right, grab this guy. Got him. These rocks are kind of glitching out for some reason. Ow. Why won't you die? There you go. 
These guys are a bit tricky. Ow! They don't fire straight. It's, it's very annoying. Got you. Okay, we lost quite a bit of health already. We're still we're still quite clearly playing bad, but we've now we've now given ourselves room for error. Oh, these enemies are uh, a bit spicy. But we got <laughs> the game rewards me though. The game's like, ah, you're playing bad, are you? Well, here's a hero funk card. Thank you. Uh, lad, don't really care to be honest. Temperance. Yeah, I don't really care about Lard that much. Our speed's pretty bad already. Sadly, two items on this floor that we just don't want. Really? that do a single pheromone fart and that was it. What's with all these purple fires anyways? They're everywhere and they keep hitting me. <laughs> They're sneaky. Look at that. That's insane damage. Right, shop. What did I say? Car battery. Here it is once more to save the day. God damn these runs. This this bean item with the with the synergy that we've got going on right now could be insanely good. I wonder if we can use uh, one. I hit it hit so much though. We can use more than a bean more than one time, like within a usage of this. Yeah, I'm taking so much dumb damage this run. It looks like it. That looked like it used their uh, butter bean more than once. Yeah, that definitely used butter bean more than once. Okay, this is a champion version of him. I don't know what this champion version does. Oh my god. Every time we get hit, we get it back as well because of Nun's habit. This is kind of insane. Eye of Belial too. Oh my god. We've already got piercing, so the piercing isn't that great. But the herming, the herming's good. My god, this this is a spicy run. Although our HP is now less than ideal. How the mighty have fallen. Our HP is like halved already. R what? We used that, and again, it used one pheromone. Apparently, when it selects the pheromone, it doesn't select any other beans for some reason. Maybe that's a bug. Maybe it's just unlucky. Maybe we just got twice unlucky. I don't actually know if Aya Belial's any good, you know. I've taken it thinking, yeah, it'll be great. But now I've realized that with um, Tractor Beam, it might kind of be shite. <laughs> like, the homing isn't really going to do anything, is it? I suppose it gets a damage up, though, doesn't it, when it goes through? I'm pretty sure. Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. This bean item has transcended all possibilities of what I thought it could be and became the the Omega Bean. I just love it. It just it just ripples this massive effect throughout the room. Judgment. Hello, beggar. Goodbye, beggar. Wait, there's a soul heart in this room? Did I miss a soul heart in this room? I did. Gimme, gimme. I need that. Thank you, thank you. But yes, don't you just love it when you have an ultimately very beanie run? No, that, that's that's some that, that's not something that ever anyone's ever experienced before in the history of um, the Banning of Isaac. Having a bean based run, but here we are. Modded, modded Isaac does it again. Just everything turns to stone. It's great. I just, I just need a, a better source of HP, but the game will give me the nail or the Satanic Bible soon, so don't worry. Really? You 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 spawned before the room ended? You're really going to play that card? Got yet. Okay. Let's... Wow, we got Steam Sale. That's great. Definitely take that. Down to three fire rate. Actually probably cheaper to buy a bomb to reroll. Stupidly enough. Soul heart. Um what do we get here? 
Grants flight upon taking damage. Lose flight for the room. Teleports to entrance. If soft locked. Okay, apparently this is better than it used to be. It now doesn't teleport you every time. Is that Pokegear? Yeah, let's go for it. Cool. This is this that that was a very good shot, by the way. Very good shot indeed. We now have great fire rate. Sack dagger. Yes, please. Oh my god, no. Um. Kind of bomb myself out of this room, but I managed it. I hate that room so much. Right, shoppy, shoppy. Where are you? Yeah, if we can get a little bit more money, we'll go back down to three fire rate as well. I'll definitely be looking to do that. There you go. Down to three fire rate. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Get beamed. <laughs> I'm loving this nun's habit business as well. This is such a cool combo. And our fire rate is so high right now. Get beamed, boy. Get beamed. Don't you just love it? This has been a very Isaac-focused commentary episode, but hey, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. I've, I've been chatting a lot about food recently, and to be honest, this bean synergy is making me think about beans. Because I don't actually... I'm actually one of the rare people that doesn't like baked beans, especially British people. Like, that's that's not common at all. Stay away from me. Um, yeah, I don't like baked beans at all, but kidney beans and black beans in a chili which is basically what is on the uh, the picture here, is is top tier stuff. We got the broken bulb. Ah, uh, that doesn't help us. Um, Yeah, like, I'm one of the rare people, I think, that doesn't like baked beans. But yeah, in a chili, I, I don't know, how many of you actually had, like, I mean, I'm guessing a lot of you have had chili, chili con carne, uh, or carne, or whatever you say. Uh, but how many of you had just a bean chili? Like, no meat, like a vegan chili? I don't really eat vegetarian or vegan food that often, but a vegan chili, or, or a, it, probably more better saying a, a vegetarian chili, is top tier. They can be really good. Like that's one of the meals that I could I, I could safely say I'd be still be very very happy to eat if I was vegetarian, because it's so good. You just add more variety of beans in there, and it's great. Right, let's grab this. What we got here, Guppy's Collar. Yeah, considering we just got that Soul Heart there, I will take that. Gives us permanent Polaroid invincibility anyways. We've never, we've not really been making boss rush here. We've been, we've been min-maxing a lot more than normal. I think that's good though. I think, I think for a, for a streak, what we're doing at the moment, it's good that we're putting this to best practice. Like we, we are doing our best practices here. I can never remember what these guys do. These little brain boys. Little brainlets. Probably should open that. It's only a combat room. Let's go for it. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's have a little look-see here, because this is my bean item. Throw a dagger in the direction you're facing. Enemies hit by the dagger. Uh, I actually... Surprisingly so. I'm, I'm definitely going to... Oh, wait. I can do this, though. hey -o. Okay, you can't eat twice. What's this? Um, strike a group of enemies with lightning. Lightning shifts between enemies. Sounds good to me. And I get to keep my bean. It's all good. It's all good. And we didn't have to fight the room. Everything's looking peachy. Or beany, should I say. My god. I just... This is, this is why. Car battery, one of the best items in the game. It just... Ow. It just leads to some absolutely fantastic runs. Absolutely fantastic runs. Also, this lightning chaining thing seems really good. Seems real, real good. Look at it. It's just affecting everything. Oh my god. This is absurd. This is such a crazy run. Back to back, pretty, pretty amazing runs. I mean, last one was carried by Satanic Bible. We had low damage the whole way through. I mean, to be fair, though, our actual damage value is pretty low. We just have insanely good fire rate. I don't know what these guys do, but I'm scared. Oh, these are the laser boys. 
That seemed very, very dangerous. My god. Okay, we just got a golden key before using keys. That's insanely good. A five room on... It's annoying how five rooms can exist on the womb, because it's like there's literally no reason to replay the womb, really, apart from your deal with the devil and a boss item. Like, that's it. Right. You're going down. But you're going to telefrag me before you do. Okay, no. Didn't quite get me. Low enough health to get away. Oh, no. I actually think we've got a pretty good build for this guy. Because we're really good at taking down low health enemies. So, yeah. That actually worked out fantastically. That could have gone a lot worse. Um, tentacles seems great, especially considering we're using our active items so often. Hoping we can get a little bit more HP here. We've lost a little bit. We're still on good HP, but Cast the Unknown definitely doesn't help with that. What in the shit? Okay, I have to say, that was kind of some, some spicy BS right there. Move chest. Okay, chests apparently don't suck up batteries. Oh, no, they do. It's just having a really... Really? Okay. It just didn't want to do it that time. I see you there, you cheeky bastard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. We're on two fire rate. Thank you, Cancer Trinket. Thank you. I'm just, I'm a little worried about our health more than anything. Rubber Baby 2.0, why not? One of you give, us, give me a soul heart, I'll be happy. Damn it. If we'd, have, if we'd have had the left hand there, that'd have been great, but sadly, no dice. Good. Also, these guys are battery guys now. The, the, the little king champion that made all these guys drop these batteries has made our familiars, our followers, into the battery dudes. So when they die, they'll give us batteries. Which is pretty good. Still, yeah, very worried about our HP. That's my main concern this run right now. For God's sake, stop with the bullshit. Okay, this could be bullshit. Okay, thank God. That could have been real bad. There's a very small room for that boss. It's not even worth the risk of going to get that. It's not going to give us enough of an improvement for that to be worthwhile. Really? The left hand again? This is a boss room. I'm not going to bother with that. It could give us soul hearts an aura guppy item, I guess, but I just don't want to take the risk. This run, we're already at low health. If we lost more health here, I'd be devastated. My god. Careful of the creep. Creep is the ultimate killer in the womb. Also, careful of these guys, because these guys don't actually die. Kind of a cool enemy, but still scary. They stay alive forever until you leave the room, at least. Nice. Red heart. Can't do anything with that. And of course, as, as I said in the previous episode, on the womb, you just always seem to go every single which way, but the right way. Do your thing already, come on. Get it over with. Ugh. Maybe one day these enemies will get changed to be just a little faster and do their thing a little... This is a bullshit room. No, it isn't. Give me a soul heart, you bastard. <gasps> Oh, the question is, what's better? Let's test this out in this next room. We'll see. I think this is better. The nurse goblin shots. I actually do. Come on, do your thing again. One. Two. Okay, you only did two that time. That's good. But yeah, like, once we get the Nurse Goblins on there, it's game over. And they're going to stack up pretty quick because we have very good fire rate. It's kind of why I was thinking it. Because we already have very good fire rate, they're going to stack up so fast. Deal with a Devil. 
That's one. Stupid, stupid. Oh, for fuck's sake. We've not even got that much evil. We've actually got Angel. Why are we getting so many troll bombs? I think we're all, um, exactly half. Oh, no. We're actually at better HP than I thought we were. Okay, I can take that. What's this? Blue spiders and flies. That's kind of cool. A little bit late for that, my dude. I don't know why I decided to do this one when I would, when I refused to do the last one, but hey, her. I think it's because I realized I have more HP than I thought I did. I'm a little more comfortable with it now. Beans. <laughs> beans, beans, they're good for your heart. Ah, this, the room's not over. I forgot. Thank God you get that small lot of invincibility. Fucking troll bombs. What the hell game? Not fair. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are thinking of doing, but I am going to bean the hell out of you if you touch me. Don't make me bean. I just love that massive plume, that massive cloud that it does there. Keep her going. Keep her going. But these guys can be difficult. Well, not too difficult, I don't think. I think we got him. Yeah, we did. Nice. A few flies there. We got a double locked room. I'm actually not that arsed about a double locked room because we need our keys. We need at least eight, really, I'd say. Get beamed. And we opened a secret room too. The double. The double trouble. Right, you're going down, sir. Oh, no. No. I didn't wait for the animation to finish. I'm a sucker. Okay, it's okay. We can skip the room. I just realized I was a fool. I didn't wait for the animation to finish, so technically the room never actually completed. Which is dumb, but it is a thing. Okay, no need to beam this room. In fact, actually, there is a need to beam. Oh my god, we just got hit as well. Because we can destroy some of these. Okay, no we can't. <laughs> I have lied to you all. I thought we could destroy some of those fires. That is untrue. Look at that. It's killing most of the room with a single bean toot. Come on, guys. Stop it. Stop it. Good, good. And onto the boss fight. Okay, just don't get hit on this boss fight and I'll be I'll be comfortable with next floor. Come on now, Isaac. Be game. Be game, Isaac, please. Okay, you spawned a good spot there. Get a few bugger tears on you before you go. We should be okay now. He's spawning in good spots as well, which makes us even better. Good, good. Oh, that's not a good spot for him to spawn in. But we finished him. Nice. We're good to go. Good to go. This has been a spicy run. Spicy run. Right, what are our items? Sack of pennies. That's great. Okay, all good stuff here. I think we'll come back for the heart in case we need it. But right now we don't. We got nine lives, which actually, yeah, we'll take. And because we got nine lives now, we might as well grab this. We're not taking permanent Polaroid invincibility. We are one item off the gupster. You've made a mistake there, boy. You've hit me, but all you've done is power my toots. You've just you've just powered my toots even more. This guy is taking a while to kill. You hit me again? No way. I was way under that beam. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is not fair. This is not fair. No, 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 no. This has to be the worst room ever. I've got tractor beam too, so I can't do anything to escape his brims. This is bullshit. This is the most BS room. I can't escape the brimstones. Oh, we just lost all of our soul hearts on that. That is some fat BS. That room can suck my dick. What the hell? I've never... 
I don't think I've ever seen that room before. That room. Nah. Nah. We've probably lost the run now. There's a chance. For fuck's sake. Die. Why, why does that damage all of a sudden feel like terrible? It just feels awful now. Felt like we, were on, we had such good damage earlier. And now it just does not feel good at all. Also, this guy, Creepy McCreep Face. Very annoying. Without flight, this guy's going to be, yep, a true pain in the ass. He's going to fight Creep literally everywhere. Got him. Okay, that's not actually going to help because we got Cast the Lost Pool. I was going to say, that's going to be great, but then, yeah, it doesn't actually do anything for us. We're good at taking down small enemies, but all of these bosses, it's kind of too much. I just wish we hadn't lost literally all of our HP to a single room. Um, how much is this going to give us? We got shocking again already. Yeah, I think this is better. Like, just if we need it. If we had cancer right now as well, we'd be at one fire rate, which is crazy. Might is helping us out a bunch. Oh, we're so getting hit in this room. Fuck this. These are some annoying-ass rooms. I think we're okay in this one, actually. Yes, more HP. Okay, we're building up our HP again. At least. Take out you first. These guys, somewhat problematic, but not terrible. They're crisscrossing at the minute, which is not great. Because they can collide. Come on, Dark One, what are you doing? One more run through, I think. There we go. Gotta run, gotta run. Okay, needed to stun those. Very glad I did. This guy, I'm gonna take a little while to go down. Open up a secret room for us, that's nice. I like the fact that when they open a secret room mid-combat, it just completely interrupts the flow of the really epic music. We're good. And you're dead. This is actually kind of a terrible room. B. B? Ugh, I shouldn't have taken the B, actually. The B kind of sucks. If I remember correctly, it leaves creep that makes you slow as well as the enemies. Like, that's mostly bad. Oh, I can't find where we're going either. For fuck's sake. Yeah, this way. This electric little dude is so good. More black hearts. Oh, I knew I was getting hit there. Oh, my God. Firestorm. Mm, we'll take it. I don't think it's going to be super helpful, though. Yeah, champion's gonna gonna live. Oh no, no he didn't. Good. Air walls, trap door. Doesn't that does anything on this floor, does it? Nope. It does not. This is a evil looking room. Okay. Cool. Don't really need our bean. I wanna do another room before we do the boss, really, if possible. I don't think we have another room, to be honest. I'd like to get my dim bulb charged up, though. My, uh, like, illuminated bulb, whatever it's called. I'm just going to take this instead, then. Why not? Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. We have okay-ish health. 
Okay, let's go. Firestorm should help us out a little bit here. As long as we don't hurt ourselves on the flies he spawns. Trying my very hardest to dodge here. The fucking thingy tears he fires, the homing ones are a problem. Oh, the homing tears, no! This bee is screwing me over as well. This fucking bee. Get him at distance. Once we've got enough of these tears on him, we can literally leave him alone and let him kill himself with the uh, with the nose goblins. This bee better fuck off. This is stupid. That no, I went to the void. You shitbag. No. Are you kidding me? Fuck sake. I we're dead. We are dead. Unless we get a ton of HP here, we are dead. There's no way we're doing this. We do, we're not strong enough for the void. Like, we, we barely killed him. I'm I'm so fucked off at this. This is this this was a clear win. I, I fuck it. I'm not resetting the kill the win streak, whether it says zero or not. Don't count. We are, we are on. This this run is a win. We won. We did the win that we wanted to get, and the game forced the void on me. We won here. This game is not taking that away from me. I did not want to go to the void. Whether the void portal appeared or not, I was never going to go in it. It forced me into it. So whether the whether the win streak says whatever it says, this is a win. This is a one run. Ignore what the win streak actually says, because this is a one run. Because there's just absolutely no way that we beat the void unless we get an insane amount of HP here. We need so much to make this work. And of course we get no mapping again. You shouldn't be able to get no mapping on the void floor, in my opinion. It's su it, it, it's kind of stupid. Like, oh wait, no, we did we did get a map. For some reason, I thought we didn't. But even still, my, my my point stands. You shouldn't be able to get no mapping on this floor. If this is void, we're dead. Especially considering this room won't die. Damn, this, this is a hard room. Just die. Dude, you telefragged me as well. Are you kidding me? Game's fucking rude. Tears up proportional to how low your luck is. Down to two again. Small rock. Come on, just give me a ton of HP, please. Mr. Fred. Okay, stick those sticky tears to him. I need flight as well. Flight would be great. Okay, candle is good. What does this do? Plus two heart containers, um, full hearts. Nah, we'll just take the, we'll just take this. Okay. Damn it, that's this is not good enough. Heck in hell. If we win this, then this is gonna be great. But I do not think we can. We need so much more HP to survive delirium. So much more HP. Take that. I mean, and we have nine lives as well, so this is going to be just brutal. This is going to be brutal. Cool. Got you. Got you. And got you. 
The thing is as well, I don't think the sticky shots stick to Delirium either. So they're going to be kind of sucky against Delirium. What's that? Crumpled Ticket gives Isaac a crippling gambling addiction, making the trinket undroppable. All cards will convert to scratch cards. That's a pretty cool one, but I'm not going to take that. I kind of like the idea of that. Okay. What we really need to get is an active item that gives us HP. If we get that, then we'd be set. But I doubt we'll be getting that anytime soon. Okay. Pop in here real quick. Oh, a black hat. Nice. In we go. Conquest. Oh, that almost hit me. Almost. In he comes. Right. You should be dead pretty much here. There you go. Um. Ooh, okay. Let I need to see how many books are bad. Um, so let's just take a look. So this is an Ipecac item. How many books are there in Ipecac? Items. There's P Book of Plagues. Uh, the Red Book. That's it. And then... Um, Platinum God. How many books? Hells. I don't think any hairs in Vanilla Isaac, do they? Let's see. I think we gotta go with this for the for the chance at HP. Nothing there. I'm sorry, my beanie 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 friend. Ooh, okay. This could give us this could give us uh HP. If this Viz would like stop though, that'd be nice. Another temperance. Come on now. Just pay out quicker, please. I don't have to read all of these. Oh my god, this is going to take a little while, I think. But we've got a min-max. We've got to. The game is forcing it upon us. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. Not great. Come on. A single... A single soul heart would be so good. The, um... Active item that you give, the crystal ball, would also be very good. I'll take that too. Come on now. This is absurd. We have... Uh, we do have minus four luck, to be fair. I did kind of forget about that. Minus four luck leads to not very many drops. There's a soul heart, finally. I will spend all my money on this until it breaks. I need to do this. If we want a single chance at this, it has to be done. Come on, come on. You will die. Don't say that to me. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Come on now. One soul heart for this many. This many uses. It's absurd. Throwing my life away. I think I am. You're right. No crystal ball either, which is kind of crazy. Okay. It blew up. No crystal ball. The stars. That was terrible. <laughs> that was not worth our time at all. Right, let's go. We're all about just doing regular rooms and getting book charged at this point. Trying to get health. The thing is, the red book couldn't have hurting us, so it's a little risky, but there's a higher chance of us healing, I think. And we just got a soul heart there. Don't think there's any books that can teleport us, which is good. I see you there as well. Good, good. Okay, health is looking better. Health is looking better. The hangman. Algis. Okay, Algis is great. Algis is great. 
We're taking on these extra rooms just for charges at this point. Good, good. As long as we don't get hit in them, they're worthwhile. Go up here, get a few more charges going on. Okay, with this Algis rune and stuff and the, the damage ups we've got so far, there's, there's, a, there's a chance that this will actually work. There is a chance. Right. There's a chance that we can make this run happen. Cool, let's keep going. Um, we've got another charge here. Still, I don't think we've got any um, any hearts from this yet, which is surprising. Unless maybe they got rid of that because it would be too powerful, which I kind of agree with. <laughs> Not going to lie, but at the same time, I wish that wasn't the case. Or maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Very possible. There's three books that can give us HP, though, so... No, I think that gave us HP then, didn't it? It's hard to see. I'm not paying enough attention, really. Okay, take out you, because you're a pain. Okay. Oh, hello. What rune is this? Akana. Let's use it. If we could go in with double Algis, that would be fantastic. 30 seconds of invincibility is crazy good, especially if we get low HP. Hmm, that, no, no thing there. I'm, do, I'm doing all the other rooms other than the boss rooms first, just in case we get delirium on our first boss. I'd rather get all these out of the way with first. No, and no. God damn, this is bad. We're not getting very lucky here at all. Let's go and do these bosses up here. These ones will most likely not be delirium because it's not enough space. It'll probably be that one at the bottom. If I were to guess. Okay, please don't soft lock me again, guys. I mean, they've hit me once already, which isn't great. But these guys tell it. Yeah, tell a frag and soft lock you like crazy. Plus one burn heart, tears up. Plus one black heart, went down to one heart. Damage all enemies in the room. Burn heart's better, right? Um. Right, grab that. Okay, so we, we were right about which one's which, at least. Good, good. Mr. Mega Lucky Tons. Lucky Tons better, I think, here. Okay, HP isn't good, I have to say. And we didn't get our second Algis. But do we have flight now? I think we do. Yeah, we do. We got one more room down here that I'll do. Okay, good. And here we go. We got our Algis rune. It's time to cry. So I don't know how well we'll stick our our bits to him. I'm hoping he glitches out like he sometimes does and transforms into I think it's Larry, um, and he just murders his own HP bar. That does happen from time to time. I kind of hope that's one of the things that happens. But progress is slow. But we've not got hit yet. Oh, he can transform into bosses that don't have delirium forms. Interesting. Wonder why that is. Or maybe he just pulls from literally every boss. I just... I, I, this boss is just so dumb. This boss just does not work. Okay, just remember, as soon as we get down to, like, two soul hearts, we use Algis. Best course of action, in my opinion. Take out all these spiders, just in case. Mr. Fred's here. He's still here. Sometimes he stays in different forms for, like, a lot longer than, you, than you'd expect. We got Herming here. That's great. I used the book for a chance at healing, but didn't give us it. I don't know what other book effect it gave. I'm probably not going to use the book again here, though, just in case. I really 
Yeah, I was going to say I hate where I am right now, but hey her. Oh, for what? You're the worst, dude. You're the worst. You're the worst boss in video game history. Congratulations. You've done it. God damn, I cannot wait for him to be reworked in the post rep update. It's going to be so good. I don't even know where he is right now. Oh, he's here. Because he is just so unbelievably bad. <laughs> like, literally, he feels like he was made in a day. What in the fuck? How did I get hit there? I think we got the same book again there. Okay, we just got to keep our distance, but it's so hard to keep your distance when you don't know where he's going to be. Like, what the hell? He can do that attack, can he? Didn't know that. He can do this attack too? Okay, I'm just confused. We're about halfway through, and he's taken off just less than half of our HP, so... It's going okay so far. This has put us in a bad position, though. This attack is not... Yeah, knew that was going to hit us. The problem is, Algis is good. 30 seconds of invincibility is nice, but 30 seconds isn't that much against this boss because he takes so long to kill. By the way, if I die on this attempt, I am just going to back out and end the run because I'm not doing nine attempts of this with uh, nine lives. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth the time put in. My god. Right, you do you, stupid. The, 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 the biggest problems I've noticed with him is when he turns into something like that enemy, like uh, Ch Chub, that charges at you and then changes to something else once he gets close, he can combo some really nasty attacks. And it's when it, the, the room's just so big that sometimes you just don't know where he is. And he can just do bullshit like that. And then he summoned that guy too. Okay. Stop. Stop with this shit. That's just such horse shit, dude. You know it is. Like that look. Do you see that then? He turned into that guy and then immediately teleported to me. It's like, no, dude. Fuck off. You know that shouldn't be allowed. You know that that's wrong. But we got him. We did it. Despite all odds, we won the run anyways. Shouldn't have had to fight Delirium there. Didn't want to fight Delirium there. But we did it. We fought Delirium and we kept the streak alive, boys. We kept the streak alive. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.